Mike, I will repeat it again. How did it happen, son? Will you believe me if I tell you I was just walking around and I saw them and decided it? I know you were walking, but I want to know all the details exactly, okay? All right, Dad. The thing is I left home in the morning and I was going to school. Okay, but you always go to school and never bring any animals to the house, right? Well, I was going to school walking this time because the bus never came to pick me up. You did not tell me that. Why did not the car come to pick you up? What was the problem? I don't know exactly. But I think the bus driver was sick or that's what they told us. You know I need to be informed of everything that happens in the school. Yeah, Dad. I know. But you never answer when I call you. I have tried before. Okay, okay. Now you will explain me how you found these cats in the streets. Yes. I was walking to the school when suddenly I watched a woman leaving a big box there. Where exactly was it? Was it in our town or far from here? I need to know. I went walking by the same avenue I always do when we go shopping. But why is that important? Because I need to know where you are going. You know this town can be dangerous. I know, Dad. But it was not dangerous this time. I promise. I went with my friends. Okay. Then you went to the school with your friends. And then? Well, as I told you before, we found a box in the street and it was moving a lot. Then, Patrick, my friend from school told me we needed to open the box to see that. We opened it and we saw this beautiful sky blue cat inside the box crying. And why did not you tell that woman to pick the cat back and take it with her? We were opening the box and looking at the cats when we realized the woman had gone, Dad. I see. So, that's why you decided to bring the cat to the house, right? Yes, Dad. I'm sorry. Please, do not be mad at me. What would you do? If I were you? Well, probably I would have done the same you did. You see? I could not leave the little cat in the box. It was crying and also hungry. Did you already give the cat anything to eat? Or what are you waiting for? Yes, I already gave him some chicken we had in the fridge. That's all I could find. Chicken from the fridge. Oh my God. Well, we need to buy some cat food, then. All right. Then I will go to buy some cat food right now. I think I have some money in my pocket. Hey, wait a minute. You explained me how you found the sky blue cat. And the other one. Oh, you mean the other one? This beautiful yellow cat right here? Of course. I can't see another one. How did you find the other cat? Well, while I was carrying the black and white cat, Peter called me because he had seen something. He was looking at another box that was also moving. We could not believe it. 
Don't tell me the other cat was in that box. It was too much coincidence. I know, right? It was amazing. I mean, it was something incredible to believe. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Then you were collecting cats in the street all the morning. Not collecting, but yeah, we found these two cats in a box and brought them home. Aha. Uh -huh. Mike, I know when you are lying. I'm your dad and I know it. Why would I lie, dad? I mean, it is the truth. I found these cats on the street and that's it. Can you tell me what were you doing walking to the school with your friends on Sunday? What? No. I found them today, Monday, not yesterday. Today is Monday. Your mom told me you did not go to classes today. I already knew that. What? My mom told you that? But she promised she would not tell you. Okay. Now, stop lying and tell me. How did you find these cats? Okay. I will tell you, but please don't get mad at me. I just wanted to do the right thing. You know I don't like you to lie. So, just tell me what happened, Mike. Well, I was playing video games in Patrick's house yesterday in the afternoon as usual. I knew their cat was pregnant. And she was about to have many kitties. Well, Patrick's mom said the cat had already had her babies and they could not have them. Because they were having problems with his dad because he did not want more animals at home. She said that his dad warned them that if they had more animals at home he would not like it. And that's why they were looking for people who could take care of the little cats. Well, I was listening to his mom when I had the idea. Why can't I have two cats at home? I mean, we have a big house. There is enough space to have some animals here, Dad. And then I decided to tell them I was going to take care of the little cats in my house. And I think that's all. I brought them here and fed them because they were really hungry. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. But there is only one little problem with your story, Mike. I know, Dad. I know they are not baby cats. They are the cats they had last month. So they have a lot of cats in their house, then. Am I right? Too many cats. Yes, Dad. They have more cats there and that's why they could not take care of them. All right. I get it now. I always knew you had a big heart. So? You are not mad at me for bringing them home? Cool. I'm not mad at you. But you lied to me I am a little disappointed with that. I know, Dad. I'm so sorry. It would not happen again. I promise you. All right. Then, let's look for a bed for these little cute cats. And also a name. Well, I already had their names, but I did not want to tell you. I'm sorry. Really? What are their names, then? 
I want to know. This little sky blue one is Patricio and the other one is Gerard. Both male names. I like those names. Come on, let's look for a bed so they can sleep there.